I always like to make people laugh and smile, and uh, I'd go out my way if you had a bad day, I'd make you smile. Stepping foot on this circus lot in his hometown of Meriden, Connecticut, was a life changer for Josh Dummett in the summer of 2011. Uh, went up to the office, the, the, the ticket window, or the ticket office door, and handed my resume into the uh, office manager. As I was walking away, he he opened the door, stopped me, and told me to hand it to a uh, Elvin Bale. Just noticed him hanging around the clowns a lot. So then he came over to me and said, "Hi, I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name's Josh." He said, "And uh, I, I'd like to be a clown." I said, "Really?" He said, "Yeah. Can I bring you some pictures, or can I uh, audition for you, or something like that?" And I said, "Sure. You know, no big deal. You know, we get a lot of kids like that." I'm talking with him for probably a good 20 minutes. Uh, just he, he was just asking me questions like, what were my skills? Uh, he was telling me about the life. Uh, in a way, I'm not sure if he was trying to uh, try, try to get me to think of something else. I thought, you know what? This is a good kid. I'd love to give him a chance to see if he could last. And you know, in the circus, it's, it's tough. And I told him it was going to be rough and it was going to be tough. It was going to be hard work. And he said, that's okay, that's okay. He said he'd give me a call if there was any openings. And uh, it wasn't until the next day on my, uh, on my lunch break, uh, I saw that there was a message from him. And he told me to be up in uh, Trumbull, Connecticut uh, on Saturday. Right here in Trumbull, this is where he first came to work. This is his first date. They had me watch the clown car act, the first show. And then, for some reason, I got talked into to, to jumping in the second show without even rehearsing, which was fun. Uh, they just they stuffed me in with the, it was the uh, it was the cop car. They stuck me in as one of the cops and uh, just pretty much uh, listened to what Kaon, the boss clown, says and uh, listened to his directions and tried doing the best I can for for what I know of clowning. A good compliment. We have the clown routine with the other guys. You know, you're doing very good. Yeah. And uh, we're talking about meatball, huh? My roommate at the time had played a meatball. Started calling me meatball, and a lot of other people started calling me that, and it stuck. So I'll sometimes introduce myself to different people out of makeup as meatball. This this young man, he had it in his heart that he wanted to do this, and. And Kayon and myself are quite busy here. We don't have all the world, all the time in the world to teach someone brand new about the wonderful world of circus clowning. The, the, the ringmaster, uh, Chris, he, uh, he, he helped along with Kayon develop my face. The baby powder. Without this, it will wash off. Baby wipes are used more than just cleaning the bottom of babies. Putting the final touches on his game face, Josh is ready for his first assignment of the day. Our, our main job on Midway is to get the public into quick lines and get them into the tent as quickly as possible, but also with clowning around, having fun with the kids. I'm, I'm sometimes quite a shy person when it comes to talking to, to, to random people, but. As a clown, I can go up to anyone and, and pretty much say pretty much anything. Sometimes back in high school, I'd, I'd read an essay I wrote in front of the class and I'd get nervous. Like, I was always the one who, when they asked to, to read essays, I'd be scrunched behind my desk, behind the book, trying to hide. So uh, I had to get used, I had to go and get used to the, uh, the being in the ring present and nowhere to hide. 20 year old Josh Dummett has a way to go before he can become a star in the Cole Brothers for a moment. Even though he is seen at least six times during the performance. He's a standard bearer for the national anthem. Then disguised for a cameo role. Next, he's a big game hunter with his fellow Joeys. At intermission, he hawks circus coloring books. 
In the second half, Josh returns as a would-be passenger in a wayward taxi driven by the boss clown. Making the big boom noise right before the split uh, is, is one of my uh, main, main jobs. You might spot him during the web act, but only if you can take your eyes off the beautiful women twirling high above the arena. And off he runs to make the final speck of circus stars around the track. That's Josh, just behind the Romanian tumbling troupe. Josh credits his Clown Alley compatriots for bringing him along in his craft. They took me pretty much off the street and taught me uh, everything that I know and what I can do now. And I'll admit, when Josh first came here, he may not have been the funniest clown doing pratfalls and that kind of thing, but you know what? Kayon and the other guys, Perolo, they all taught him how to do falls. Good, he started, you know, like last year with us. He wore good, and you know, I hope he'll be in the circle for many years, you know, try to be more funny like he do now. That after a while, you're doing it every day, comes naturally. And uh, he's learning, uh, he really is, and his clown character, Meatball, uh, it's, it's goofy, but it, that's his personality. But right here, right here in Trumbull, this is where he first came to work. This is his first date, and he made it through a whole year. I think a couple of them didn't think I was going to last. I think it was mostly they were just giving me a chance. They were just showing me what it was like. But uh, I bit into it and ran. And lo and behold, he's turned out to be a great clown and a great person. He's great with kids, and I wish I had a hundred more like him. Yeah, I, I see myself making a career of it. Why? Because it's fun. From Trumbull, Connecticut, I'm Lane Talbert. See you at the circus.